Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. Um, before I actually get into booleans, I'm actually good, I actually skipped over a tool that I should have talked about earlier. Um, <clears throat> it's called the interactive split tool. Now it's very similar to the insert edge loop tool, but the difference is, is that instead of inserting just a loop, um, the interactive split tool is actually, when you select it, you can actually um, draw this yourself. So by default, it kind of snaps to the corners of an edge and also halfway between the edge. So you can click and then you can see it's, it's you can decide where the direction that you want this to go. So you can kind of come around here you know I'm gonna do like so and then come around here and then once you're done you just press enter on your keyboard and then it will actually draw that edge in for you. <laughs> Alright now if you go back to the tool, to reselect your tool that you just recently used, um, it's always going to be the bottom option down here. So this button changes depending on the last tool that you used. Or you can just press the Y key. That will bring back up to um, the, last, the, last, uh, <clears throat> the last tool that you used. And so if you press this middle mouse, this middle button up here, um, in the top left of the, the top right of the screen, then you get your two palette. So I can see here um, the options. I can actually turn the snapping off for this. So the snap magnets by default is one. I can just say zero. And now it still moves along the edge, but it doesn't snap anymore. That way I can get freedom of choosing wherever along the line I want it to go. And you can actually change this um, even before you press enter. So I can press it back to one. And then it's going to start snapping all over again it doesn't finish until I press enter alright and so if I come back up here to the insert edge loop tool now um, something I also forgot to mention earlier is that the edge loop tool works great when everything is squares but when there's a triangle in the mix it's gonna stop because it's gonna make it a square so for example all around this edge here everything is all squares so when I draw this line you see how it makes a loop all the way around that's exactly what I want now if I try to do this over here on this side I may get a problem alright see this how I drew a line here but it went down there because this is squares down here even though it's a rectangular shape there's four sides so it's considering it to be a square <clears throat> and this had four sides but then it came here and this, it didn't have four sides, it only had three. And so now it stopped there, that way I can give it a fourth side. The same thing for over here. One, two, three, four, five. This actually has more than four sides. So if, if it's not four sides exactly, then you're probably going to have some difficulty trying to draw with the insert edge loop tool. That's when the interactive split tool could come in. And you can just manually um, add these lines exactly where you want them to be. Okay, and I could take that menu away by uh, clicking on that middle mouse, that middle button up here. All right, so now in the next lesson, we'll actually get into booleans. Booleans.